So we left off having just killed Eric. And Rachel went down this cliff that you'll see uh, Nick and... Oh god, what's his name? The Colonel. Fucking dead. What's his name? Yeah, we gotta kill him. Jason. There we go. Being honest, these cards were marked the moment we stepped off that helo. You think Rachel was with him? Yep. There's nobody. Look, there's nothing we can do here. First things first, we gotta find somewhere to dig. So he in. was brutally murdered. <laughs> Slash impaled. Look at that. Running away from the Pazuzus. Which is honestly probably one of my favorite new words that I've learned. It's great. Why is there hair in my face? I think I need to cut my bangs again. This is mailman two one actual to all call signs. How copy over? They're all dead. Joey, report in over. Joey's dead. How are we gonna get out of this? We gotta lock this place down. Form a defense perimeter and buy ourselves some goddamn breathing space. Whose statue? Our creepy. Take a mental picture and snap the fuck out of it. What is this? It's not the stylos, that's for sure. This mission's a bust. <laughs> is it though? That is Never it a bust? Here. It's worse than anything we've ever faced before. That I believe. You think we're being punished? Yes. Blessing? Yes. Now stop being such a pussy. Yeah, some bad shit is going down, but you and I, we're battered. We're marines. Also, this is an 18 Screw plus game. For all we know, they can be some of fucked up experiments. And if not, and if this voodoo shit runs deeper, then we'll find a way to bury you. Okay. I'll find the others. We can't be the only ones here. We'll find the others. Then we'll get our payback. Ooh, yeah. It's the Pazuzu. We better check that out. Yep. You better. All right, let's go. Onward. I wish they could run. This is where so for Eric's pioneering thermal satellite system. Eric and uh Rachel were this is Saddam's chemical weapon silo, huh? Yep. Run for the fucking hills. We're all doomed. Eric's paid a pretty steep price for that theory. We all have. I just want to use the giant gun. There's the generator. Let's go take a look. You mean the one that's sparking? Yeah, that looks like a good thing to go touch. A little help here. I'm coming. Someone's taking a serious dislike to this thing. You think? Sabotage. Looks it. Watch my back. Show me the thingies. Do it. Ah. Oh. Shit. Never mind. That was a human. Stop fucking around. Hurry up. Does it look like I'm fucking around? I mean, a little. Good job, Sergeant. <laughs> Spooky. You'll see the Pazuzu soon. Also, <laughs> sorry. The Pazuzu is an animal uh, slash demon creature thing. <laughs> I should probably clarify that if you've never seen this before. It's got these like great like talons that it it grabs onto around corners. It's one of my favorite things. I see a light. Oh wow. Great detective skills there, bud. Oh shit. Hold tight. This is a trip wire. Okay, I remembered this from our first playthrough. <laughs> Claire. 
for a split Blue second there. I was like, should I just let him hit it? <laughs> Counter explosion? Nah. Just need to cut the trigger. I am kind of like that. Now that's not very nice. Gotta be the Iraqis. Yeah, you think? And there I thought it was the monsters planning bombs. Oh yeah, you think it's the monsters? I don't I don't think so. But sure. April 2nd, 1946, we've assembled our team. Top of my list was unintelligible. Pro the Bulldog of Omaha Beach. We found him in Cairo, brawling for money in a eleven teen drinking club. Pro recommended unintelligible and in Haifa. Haifa? We picked up my assistant. The always inquisitive Aileen Journal, an intelligible, insisted on the presence of her own advisor, Ellis Van Hoyten, uh, in an archaeologist I know only from unintelligible. Our team complete. We shall head to Lebanon and from there to train or by train to unintelligible. Oh, wait. I mm, Can I pick that up again? Sometimes there's something on the back. October the 21st, 1946. Crow was the first to break into the tomb, an honor he shared with Bessie, that damned machine gun of his. It it's got a, a name? Weapon, but it seemed to comfort the fellow he do the digging. This place has lain undisturbed for centuries. It is not the tomb of Alexander the Great, but a temple of an even older god king, the Akkadian despot. Naram Sin. We saw him. We have been mistaken. But Lady Bradshaw still declares it a find for the ages. A discovery that will write our names in the annals of history. Looking out at this sceptered hall, I have no reason to doubt her. Cool. Okay, now I'm satisfied. I wanted to make sure we got everything. What else can I touch? What's this? Carvings on it. Uh, A fifty nine. Star map. I'm assuming because like this is like an archaeological site that that is their cataloging uh number he could be waiting for us down there shh listen is that joey he's alive or he's alive it's a trap we don't know that we don't leave men behind Ten for five. Ten for five. <laughs> Nick's like, I don't want to go. <laughs> this is Salim. I love Salim. Oh boy. Good job on testing that before you went. <laughs> Uh, he was my favorite character throughout this whole thing. In our first <gasps> thingies! Throughout our first playthrough, I always was like, Salim's got to live! I don't care about anyone else, just Salim! Okay. There we go. Uh, and his wife, I'm assuming. So Dars is um commanding officer. Oh look. Big head.
Yeah, it's totally dead. You know. Not like it's playing dead or anything to make us seem like it's okay. <laughs> I love how now he can make the jump like he couldn't make it before. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, we are playing on lethal. here. Oh, crowbar. Or whatever the hell that is. Oh, Jesus. Right through the chest. There you go. Oh, is he gonna die? really thought Celine was dead. Holy. Fuck you, man. I get it. It's beautiful. And I'm again. <laughs> uh, you got bigger problems here. Than the Americans, honestly. Except for the fact that you tried to kill their friends and you actually did end up like, inadvertently killing one of them, you know? Uh-oh! Clicky-clicky! They're all dead. Over where? Oh. Oh, that was a little blood spatter on the camera. That's cool. Oh, you dead. <laughs> you so dead. Yeah, a light. Right, we just got the little lighter. That's it. That's all we have. We don't have a crap or flashlight anymore. Just this. I would be shitting myself if that's all I had. I'd probably realistically just be sitting in the corner crying if I had to be here. <laughs> There's something missing from it. What is missing from it? I feel like I would do better in a zombie apocalypse as opposed to this. What do you think? Zombie apocalypse or this? I've also been watching way too much of The Walking Dead recently, so very much at the forefront of my brain. We haven't seen Rachel in a while. Well, not really a while, but like, at all know. since we started today. Let's go! This is Mailman 21 Actual Joey, do you hear me? How copy, over. Find Joseph. Hey look, I found a thing! That's Joey's. 
Like it's a blood. In bad shape. Mm -hmm. You gotta move fast. Well, he wasn't exactly in good shape the last time we saw him. You know? It's it's only Keep just away. gotten worse. Don't leave anything to chance. Okay. How deep is that damn hole? It's probably pretty deep. This is fresh. This is solid fucking rock. You think these things got through it? Yeah, why not? Oh, look at all that blood. Oh, wow. That's not good. Whoa. He's hit bad. Not much we can be sure of. Yep. Something really fucking nasty went down here. Mm-hmm. We about to meet that nasty. You hurry the fuck up. Ooh, premonitions. Hmm. Is that basically saying, like, don't shoot Salim? Because, like, yeah. I'm kind of on that boat. October 23rd, the catacombs underneath or beneath the temple are heaped with unintelligible. Probably Pazuzus. Um, Aline, or is that a name? Aline? Has worked sacrificial digs in Al Castillo, but even she hasn't seen unintelligible. Unintelligible killed thousands in the name of their gods. Unintelligible in uh, carnal pits as though the slaughter unintelligible. But plague or cataclysm demanded such a price. So much un unintelligible. Whatever happened here a millennia ago is un is a unintelligible. There's so much that they can't read. 7th of December, 1946. Our finds have been so spectacular. I couldn't resist breaking out the champagne. As I entered the survey tent to pour a glass for Mary, I realized something was awry. She'd found Bradshaw's crate of dynamite. I tried to calm her, but she worked up a full oh, head of yeah. steam, sounding off about the risks of using explosives at a dig site. She was right, of course. I feel terrible for hiding it from her. We found all that dynamite. Just then, Crow arrived and picked up the dynamite. When Mary ordered him to put it down, he looked her boldly in the eye and said they'd found something below. Oh. That's not good. What the hell did they find down there? I think we're about to find out, my man. Oh. oh. So fucked up. Let's go in the deep, dark, deep, dark hole. Oh. The hell? What? Something we just found changed. No. Please, God. Let him be alright. Let him live. Put it in your pocket? There's nothing, place. There's nothing else here. I don't think I came into that tunnel before. I don't think I went that way. We know what we're facing now. Eyes wide. Stay frost. You may not be alone. Stay in the sunlight. <laughs> Joe, is that you? <laughs> Jason's like, shut the fuck up. Okay, let's try not to die. I love how we have so many issues. We have this guy that we're trying to- Oh no! 
Oh, they got split up. That's bad. Fucking aura. This is Mailman 3 to Mailman 2, one actual. Come in, Lieutenant Over. This is Mailman 3 to Mailman no signal. 2, one actual. Come in, Lieutenant Over. We're making different decisions at our first playthrough because I want to see new stuff. Uh-oh, Clicky Boy's here. It's fine. There is no cause for concern. I I would really like it if you would move forward. In like not a weird fashion. Uh oh, okay, there is a ground. I was like, where are you dropping to? It's Salim! There is a demon. He's cute, right? Have a good lurk soul. Thank you for being here. Not a word. Very act sound like bats. I do. They hear you. They hunt you. So let's make a lot of noise. <laughs> They burn in the sunlight. Like any living being, they can be killed. Let's take through the heart. He's done it. It does work. Keep your bullets crew when I slow them down. Even a truck falling on them just makes them angry. Also done that. We do this together. Uh, we can kill it. We can kill it. You move into a flanking position and get its attention. I will do the rest. <laughs> Nick's like, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, this could go badly. I messed up doing this on normal. But we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Every little sound I'd be like, oh no. I think I played as Nick in this scene last time. That's too close. Uh oh. I fucked up. I left clicked instead of right clicked. I clicked too early. Oopsie. Promises. <gasps> Nick. Down, down on the fucking floor. 
Stop pointing your guns at Nick me. was actually just gonna I like leave him. Hurt you. Your uniform tells me something different. Drop your fucking weapon. Do it now. No. You lower yours first. Drop your weapon before I fucking drop you. Uh oh. You pull that trigger and I swear to Alibaba and the forty thieves, it's the last fucking thing you'll do. I don't know how this I is gonna go. This far to die by a trigger. Happy American. Let's be chaotic. <laughs> Hi, Kiwi! How you doing? Was this icon next to me? Oh, it's a VIP badge. I gave a few of our, like, regular community members VIP badges yesterday. Just to say thanks for always being here and being supportive. You know. Yeah. doing of course i just like i don't have any way to say thank you sometimes other than like literally just saying thank you for being here but i can do that <laughs> i know that's the last one should at least slow them down Long enough to spot them on the cameras. Maybe. I think we're still gonna die. I already killed one. <laughs> and one of them we haven't seen in a while. Uh, we're playing House of Ashes again. We should reset that tripwire. We're playing yeah. the curator's cut, so we're getting like different scenes We've with different characters. And we're playing lethal what difficulty. Because we're if chaotic. These things, <laughs> there's no one else I would want by my side. Um, uh, I've always got your back. We're gonna be, we're gonna be you nice. I always got your back, buddy. I'm what me. I'm being, I'm being kind of annoying. Some of the other people, but we'll be nice here. It is, isn't it? You think? I don't know how many places. I think it's pretty cool. Home without a second thought, these relics are better off than this. Excuse you. What's your problem? I love museums. Been asked for this war. Uh, <laughs> I don't like either option, so you can shut up. <laughs> we'll never have a good answer for that. Forget ass. Mm-hmm. Still have the east flank to cover. Eyes open. Let's go. Yay! Yes. These doors took a hammer in. They did. The things must have come through here in force. That's why we have the big gun. Oh, man, that weapon took a stand and held them off. Before they got massacred from behind. How far into the game are we here? These creatures aren't uh, the predators. We played they for about two down. hours they yesterday. And we just we started playing it. about half an hour ago. So I want to say maybe like a third of the way through total. It took us about six hours the first playthrough. But who knows how long the curator's cut is. I guess it also kind of depends on how fast I kill people. <laughs> I'm not actively trying to kill them, but I did kill one already. So you never know. <laughs> oh, that looks good. It's the closest I've been to hell. Oh. Well, she do to deserve that. Yeah, damn. Kill the stake through the heart. That's is she a vampire? Sort of. <laughs> Let's take it. Oh, don't get hepatitis or something. Pretty sure those creatures didn't do this. No, that was people. Who did? I don't know. Buffy? Who? Jason! Get the program! Maybe you should hold on to that. <laughs> what do you mean, who? Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I 
never know when you're gonna need a sharpened steak, right? Which I've actually never seen. I just I just know the references. What's we got here? Oh yeah, if y'all have any questions, feel free to ask about the game. Um, something something stank of death and was littered with unintelligible, enough to be covered in flies. Crow thinks, oh yeah, Crow's a person. Unintelligible came, er, down here after robbing them. I pity those hapless wanderers, the fear they must have felt. Uh, this was not what he wanted to show us. An unearthly unintelligible. When Mary asked what it was, Bradshaw nodded to Crow, who broke open the dynamite. She said she intended to find out. Blowing a hole through the rock face, we found a gateway to a strange world below. A phosphorescence emanating from beneath. Oh, we didn't get this one last time. Lady Bradshaw was insistent that we descend further. Perhaps Mary is right, and Bradshaw is becoming reckless and uncontrollable. But I can't stop thinking about what's down there. I am now working with Crow and Pullman to set up a winch and elevator to descend into the shaft. What mysteries lie below, I wonder. Undisturbed. Oh. By the they were the ones that created this. What's that? Says they found something weird down here. Yeah. yeah okay, good. so I didn't see that video the first time we played. So I didn't know that the previous dig team were the ones who did that. That's cool. Oh, we got a thing. So Rachel could explode. Got it. Cool, cool. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Door? Which door did we come in, though? This way? Is it this way? Yeah. Sure, let's go this way. More crap. What'd you find? Nothing that's gonna get us. Oh, that here. was the. Uh, yeah, the cylinder seal. We saw this in the intro as well. Right now, I couldn't give a crap if it was the crown jewels of England. Well, maybe you should. <laughs> Those are my favorite things to see in museums. Because, like, all like the it's tiny little trinkets. Point. Any of those They're so detailed and delicate. Below, sure to pass through here. Set some charges. Yeah. Yeah, rig these pillars for maximum cover. More likely to see the trip wires, though. You think those things can tell the difference? You shouldn't underestimate them. If you mind the sight, we're more likely to catch them out. The smaller spread, but the explosives are better hidden. What do you think? Um. Plant them to the side. Those things are dubious fuckers. You're right. We plant the charges to the side of the hall. You're right. We won't see this one coming. We did the opposite last playthrough, so I'm gonna I'm gonna make different decisions. Let's see how it goes. I can hear your brain taking away. <laughs> what is you it? could hear his brain from here? Should've That's a loud a brain. Warning. Man, I wish I hadn't asked. I'm through talking about this. Oh boy. Yeah? What's left to say? You know that checkpoint was a prime target for suicide bombers. We had to act in the moment. We had to make a call. It was the wrong call. Mm, well, you didn't know that at the time. Why is it that no one ever tells us straight? Everyone just makes up bullshit to get by. Mm -hmm. That's why we're in the sandbox in the first place, right? I just want the truth, Jason. Shooting that woman messed with my head. As Did it should. Tell me it didn't mess with yours, man. Uh, you're gonna say nothing. You know, I 
was being racist. Are you serious? Oh, he didn't know. Okay. I thought for yeah, right. three weeks. I thought he knew. It's on. Let's go! Nobody touch the explosives, okay? Yeah, let's oh, go yeah, into I'm the darkness. Here. I'm gonna head back. Let's let's just go. Let's just go into the darkness. This sounds fine. Oh look, she's alive! Genjir Gaming, hi! How are you? <laughs> we are having a great stream so far, thank you. Welcome to House of Ashes. <laughs> what a time to come in, so bloody it kind of is. Uh, this game, I don't know if y'all played it or like watched the playthrough. You might have seen B playing it uh, earlier in the week. It's a lot. This is also my second playthrough, so I'm being a little chaotic. <laughs> Nick? Jason? Welcome to House of Ashes. Yeah, it's super welcoming. <laughs> He's coming! The Pazuzu! That can't be anything good. Oh yeah, let's go towards it. I think it's a good idea. I say we follow the weirdness. <laughs> Last playthrough, I stayed as far away from it as possible. This time I'm like, let's follow it. Doing great, so happy it's Friday. Oh. <laughs> we didn't do that last time. <laughs> Rachel! Oh no. I'm so sorry. <laughs> My mic is even farther back because I knew that that could happen. <laughs> we haven't had time for it yet. Honestly, if you have two computers, I would say play it together. That could be really fun because there's a co-op. Sorry, I screamed. <laughs> I genuinely got so scared. <laughs> Uh, December 13th. I'm assuming that this is still the 1940s. Uh, unintelligible and I descended in the unintelligible. Great sentence. As we left, I was struck by the unintelligible temperament. She seemed eager, almost manic, in the face of our new discovery. When we reached the bottom, Crow could not prevent himself unintelligible before us. Satin, a dizzy vault, Leia, unintelligible, loathsome, colossal, and sleeping. A great carcass built in, unintelligible, overcome with awe, I. A co-op, yeah, 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 double the freakouts that may be interesting, yeah, yeah, do it. Um, I think there's, like, couch co-op and also online. 28th of December. So if you own the game, you can... For days we double. have studied this dead, silent realm and its entombed abominations. Now the horrors have come for my own dear Mary. Crow found her unconscious in the star chamber, her notes scattered around her. He carried her back to our supply room and laid her down in one of the cells. She got infected, Wouldn't though. Wouldn't learned what had happened? Right? She was evasive about Mary's work down there. As I cleaned my wife's face, she spoke to me in a fever, yeah, sounding she's stressed infected. and confused. I have resolved to keep a vigil over her. I pray her fever abates so we can escape this cursed place. No. 
Nobody escapes on lethal difficulty. That's not how this works. Ooh, are y'all checking out the Pokemon? I know a new one came out today or is coming out. My little heart can't take it! Stop! How is there so much blood down here? <laughs> she's like banging on her head. I know it's her flashlight, but like, she's just... Hello? Any brain cells? You're watching others play before we decide what's together or not. That, that's a really smart thing to do. I usually do that too. I know there's a whole bunch of people that are really excited to stream it. Pazuzu? Hello! I still can't believe I got so scared. We, we didn't even see the face. It was just like absolute jump scare. Which is actually why I prefer these games. Because they're like really sudden jump scares and it's not like a prolonged fear. We tried to play Alien Isolation. We played a few streams of it and it's honestly, it was just too tense for me. I don't like that. Chipacabra? What is that? Oh, look at it! It's the teepees! That's what it looks like. Saliva, we have collected and bottled the black saliva present on the maw of the creature extracted from the cocoon. I and others who smelt the substance have experienced heart palpitations and a heightened sense of fear. Some have reported odd visual effects such as change of colors. Uh, Chupacabra is the Mexican demon from urban legend. It eats goats? Oh! Wait, I think I've heard of that, Kibi. Well, the Pazuzu doesn't necessarily eat goats. It kind of just eats everything. But it's creepy looking. We've attempted to secure additional samples of the saliva from the site where M was attacked. Uh, M as in Mary, who was in the previous letters. The smell was so overpowering that respirators were used to collect the samples. We recommend the use of masks at all time when handling samples to avoid becoming infected. Sensations similar to experience with mushrooms? I don't know. All right, let's keep going. So last time we played, we could hear it like behind us and chat was like, look behind you, look behind you. And I was like, no, I'm scared. It's coming. Oh, it's so close. I'm not trying to, like, kill Rachel. But I also want to see if this is a point where she can die. It's just trailing us. Oh god, I hate it. Oh, it's clicking! It's clicking at us. Gross. She's like, uh-oh, this is where I die. 
Oh, it's a bit. Oh. <gasps> Get through that chopper! I'm pretty sure it came down. I'm pretty sure the helicopter is like totally fucked up. Oh, it's a big one. The little Pazuzus that we've seen are like, oh my god, half? Run. Now, go! What? So calm, Clarice. Care yeah. to explain? She's just like, hi. How's it going? You come here often? Looks like a line out. Maybe we can get the radio working and send a signal out. Take a shot. A long shot. <laughs> Oops. No, we don't even know if there's a I have my squad thingy. <laughs> Still going from the last time we did a co-op. Gotta go somewhere though. Uh, are they U.S. military squad or something? Yes, they are. Just as well. Don't feel much like climbing out there. So the team here is the U.S. military. There's also. What the fuck, Joey? An Iraqi military person named Salim here that we also play as. What happened? He was bitten. By a Pazuzu. Pazuzus are kind of vampiric in that, like, they can turn humans if they don't, like, rip them to shreds. So, Joey, um, I believe was shot and then fell in the hole, like, here. We have to hurry. It's not safe here. Oh, that's an understatement of the century. But yeah, so they're kind of vampiric, and uh, they also don't do sunlight. They they burn in the sunlight. They also, well, Eric, who I killed, had a UV light. So I'm not sure if we even have the UV light anymore, because it was Eric that had it. Do I consider this to be the best in the whole anthology? Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I know that you could fight. Yeah, me either. Who was that thing? We're not safe here. We're not. Whatever it is, it's not alone. <laughs> We're never safe. Where do you think? One of those things got its dirty hands on me, dragged me down here, left me for dead. Fuck. Fuck doesn't even start to cut it. I'm lucky to have gotten away. You're talking to a scientist. There's no such thing as luck. You should be thankful I was there to help you. Uh, yeah, I'm grateful. I'm Thanks. Grateful. Thank you. And the worst was... Time to fly. <sighs> we gotta find a way out of this hole. So, this is where you've been hiding now? Do you have any weapons? There's only uh, three. Do mind? I just need some batteries for this damn light. I mean, even if you wanna you just ask, include, that ever your like, mind? Until Dawn, it's, it's not in the anthology, but, like, it's by the same people. It's painful. Little Hope was interesting. It was a lot of the yes. same scares. Yeah, I really liked it's Until Dawn. I thought it was like, I mean, it's very much like 80s horror movie. You know, That's like great. it was kind of cliche. It was very like, you know, you knew what was happening, but it was still really fun. You know, like it, it, it was entertaining. It was what it was, and like it was, it was a good video game. These people must have been in the valley a long time. Man of Medan, 
Yeah, yeah, it was exactly teenage slasher gone wrong. Exactly. Um. Man of Medan. There's a way up. Had less scares. And I feel like it didn't okay. like flesh out barely climbable. enough of the story, personally. How did I know you were gonna say that? Um I met Eric in climbing glass. I can get us out of here. And then Little Hope. Little Hope was like the same scares over and over and over again. Like you kinda got desensitized to it. And like I don't want to ruin the like the ending of it, but it was kinda like fuck like the the ending was very i honestly sat here being like what did i just do like what did i just play and i sat here thinking about the entire story and it left a little to be desired so i don't necessarily know which one is my least favorite you okay yeah just need a minute it wasn't even yeah, bleak, it was just sort of like a letdown. Well, it does. Like you thought that the story was going yeah, one way, really and then it turns me. out that it was like into motivational speaking. really not Seriously, anything, okay? and you were looking for that answers the entire the time. Question I have ever with like going asked. back in time and having all of these like parallel dimensions and whatnot. Just need a silent treatment, huh? And then I think right now I don't know, it's just it... focus on survival. Uh, when do they call you the queen bitch? Sad thing is, you don't even see it. See what exactly? You don't let anyone in. It's like there's a wall around you. No, not not even a wall, a mountain. Tell me, Rachel. Is there even a real? We played it a few times there? just to try try and keep them alive. <gasps> Did you do it? Did you manage to keep them all alive? It's not easy being queen bitch. I never did. A soft word and a warm smile. You're thinking of grabbing the anthology, but even on discount, it's pretty expensive. Yeah. You made me think the new language I grew up on Easy Street. Easy Street? I, I honestly. Do you think it bothers me what people call me? Yeah, until dawn. I wear that shit mm -hmm. like a badge of fucking honor. They have no idea of the shit hill I've climbed just to get to where I am right now. Yeah. And where is that exactly? like another shit hill if I'm truly honest with myself. Almost. We had one die at the last minute you just gave up. Oh, that's so shitty. They're not so different. <laughs> We're both doing what needed to be done to get to where we wanted to be. Just the fire again is a bit unclear to me. No shame. There's been there are playthroughs that show you like this is all the things that you have to do. I kept most of them alive up until the end. Although, I would say, Kitty, if you're gonna, like, make a purchase, absolutely, like, if you want to play Man of Medan and Little Hope, they're good. This, in my personal opinion, House of Ashes is worth the money. Yeah, she's turning. Until Dawn and House of Ashes, I believe, in my personal what opinion, are their best doing? ones. The other two are good. They're just not as good. There's medication up there. It may help you, but we need to move. Now! I abandoned her in our first playthrough. And I, like... <laughs> I cut myself off from her. I, like, jumped across. Uh the cavern or whatever so i don't know what's gonna happen here i just abandoned her oh right here we're on the wrong side of the cavern we'll never make it this is where i abandoned clarice the first time don't quit on me now i got i got rachel across and then i was like psych peace out yeah, swing over that rope won't hold yeah, well, it's fine. Wait. You really believe those medicines will help me? Uh, yeah. 
Really? Get together close. We're almost there. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> she looks like shit. Where is oh he? my god. Truman Hall. We can do this. I'm not going to abandon her. I I want to bring her with me just to see what happens. <sighs> Uh-oh. Uh, hello? <laughs> Did she come after you after you left? Yup! <laughs> She did. She turned and she came back and scared the shit out of me. That answer your question? We need to get you to the temple. Just like Joey had turned, she came back and she had like the fangs and everything. It was pretty cool. Oh, we're back with Jason. Seems like a lot of them turning during the game. Uh, possibly. I mean, I don't think- I don't think Eric will come back because he was just flat out impaled. So much seen anything come up, Sergeant. Not yet, at least. Over. But y'all- you haven't even seen the end of this game. Stay frosty. It's, uh... It's something else. Okay, what are we examining? Oh, a tablet. Nice. That looks promising. These games will probably also go on sale for Christmas, right? Don't they usually? Hello. There we go. Fake dig site. Looks like the explorers set up a fake dig site. Maybe near there here. Uh oh. That's interesting. There. Check. It's out here that's split anymore. We're facing an enemy we know. I think this is also my favorite because it has like the Sumerian the history and stuff in it. Like we get to explore a temple. Little Hope is just like Well, Little Hope is a town. Radio's our best shot. So you just get to explore this like abandoned town. And Man of Medan is a ship. Gonna have a limited range. One thing Eric did manage to get right about this shit show. Mm. He gave us air support. Lord loves a miracle. If we get that signal out, our birds may be close enough to hear us. So it means we have to find a way to reach him, of course. One problem at a time. So in terms of, like, range of location, this game is much more similar to Until Dawn. In terms of, like, there's a lot of places that you can go. I'm gonna need a hand to get this up and running. Thank you. It's now a really good time to smoke. Those things will kill you, Sergeant. Yeah, like smoking is the biggest threat to my life right now. You never know. Yeah, Rachel has it. Your girlfriend, who's technically kind of cheating on her husband with you? It's just a ghost signal. Even without a transmitter, a radio picks up the faint signal. It's just ghosts. That's a thing? So fix that transmitter. 
Wait, is that a we thing? Establish a signal and contact CENTCOM, and we're one step closer to home. I didn't I'll know that. I'm no That's kind of cool. If Merwin was here, though, we would fix it. No shit. Well, Merwin was a sexist pig, and I'm kind of okay with him being dead. Salim! <laughs> Jason's an ass. A little bit. Oh, you're friends. There you go. <laughs> Surprisingly, KB, when on our first playthrough, Jason was actually a really nice guy. I'm just choosing to play him like a butt. <laughs> All of the characters were actually really nice in my first playthrough. I, the like the decisions I made yesterday have just made a lot of like a really big impact on the way he interacts with other people. So I recognize him correctly. He's an ass. Yep, he's an ass. <laughs> Salim is so nice, though. Yeah, they are. <laughs> also, the commander, Dar, uh, the actor, was also in Little Hope. He was one of the main characters as well. Which was really cool. Uh oh. Yeah, you're setting off like 500 of them right now. I need more time. I vote take a hammer and just break it. This guy. He was in Little Hope as well. He played the professor. And in our first playthrough of this, we were all like, The professor? Hello? Because we played Man and Madan, Little Hope, and then House of Ashes for the first time, like all back to back. know it like it's not live but if you ever want to watch um like those playthroughs they are up on youtube if you want or even if like you're deciding on whether or not you want to purchase man of medan or like little hope let's say you can watch like the first 20 minutes or something Exclamation point YouTube to get the, the link if you want. I don't have a clear shot. Whee! Hello there, rabbit. No rabbit. Ah. Oh Jesus. He could have gotten glass in his eye. I like how that's what I'm concerned about. Like, they're shooting at each other, but God forbid he gets some glass in his eye. <laughs> and done. Thank you! I appreciate the support. Push forward into the temple! Move! 
Yeah, I do all of our big playthroughs on YouTube. Just in case. What? Oh, it's Rachel. <laughs> oh, Clarice. Oh my god. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. We, we've never gotten Clarice this far. Have any doubt, Marie? They were dating. So those things take you. Yep, she's gonna turn and she's gonna fuck all of you up. Oh, she doesn't know her husband's dead. Oops. That's awkward. Who's dead? He was a solid dude. Deserve better than him. A little bit. What happened to him? He was Rachel impaled. Was Tell me. He was shot by one of the Iraqis. Is Iraqi still alive? He is. And he's close. Why didn't... Are we not talking about the fact that he was impaled? He's infected. She, she, she's turning into one of those things. Why'd you bring her here? <laughs> she needs our help. She's beyond help. She help. shouldn't be here, Bree. We got. Wait. Are you gonna you shoot her? To my orders. You're gonna shut the hell up. I want to see what happens. Step aside. Jason, please, don't do it. Oh, I want to see if Clarice bites her. Oh, wow. No! Get her out of my face. Uh oh. What the fuck? Nick, let go of me. Hold still. <laughs> oh, bye bye. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> Are you really that surprised, though? I don't think Clarice can be saved. She gets taken like every single time. Fuck that. <laughs> that was disgusting. Why? Oh boy. We can't lose the generator. We're blind without it. You're also very dead. Can I use the big gun now? Here they go! Salim. Salim's alive. Okay, so he's still got four. Get the big gun! I think it's their house. <laughs> Oh, 
enemies are worse than sewer rats. You think? They're gigantic and have massive talents. Oh, we're doing this part again. All right, this is fun. This this could get kind of dicey. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Stop messing with me. Just the generator. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, we are playing on lethal difficulty. I think now's about the time we bug out. Any objections? That's a pretty matter of fact decision, just to like, just run away. The breaking to the perimeter. You got any uh -huh. ideas? Now's the time. Big gun? Oh, come on. There's gotta be something. Wait. Yes. Okay, we can make for the catacombs. Catacombs? Now, in case you missed it, that ain't the way out. Well, it's either that or we die where we stand. Everyone move to the east gate. Have to be gun. Oh, there's so many of them. I got her. This wasn't one of your better ideas, Rage. Yeah, apparently not. Now we're talking. Hell yeah. I'm such a kid, but like literally anytime you give me a giant gun, I want it. Chekhov's gun is the achievement I just got. <laughs> uh oh. We're gonna start a fire. Whoa. Where's Rachel? Yeah, we know the boys are okay, but where's Rachel? There we go. All right. Let's go. Hey, fuck it. Real nice. How you doing? Ah. Oh, it doesn't hurt. It's only a scratch. You're fine. Remember the came door and model here. You must kill her. drop Kumbella. Ah, ah. But for God, a cross must hurt. You good? How's it going? Uh... <laughs> I haven't killed anybody yet. Although... <laughs> it is looking a little rough right now. I brought Clarice with us this time. Instead of just abandoning her across the chasm. Uh, but Jason shot her. Because she turned. I get it. So we got four left. Uh oh. Hello again. My friend will not have me. He yeah. To see that. What happened up there? The Paracons. This is going really well. For my liking. It's making me nervous. Lowering your weapon might help alleviate some of the tension. Shooting Clarice was both an act of mercy and self-defense. It kind of was. 
Well, it's like if your friend turned into a zombie, like, I don't know. Personally, I'd rather if I turned into a zombie for one of my friends to just take me out. I, feel like I wouldn't want to be a zombie, and that's basically what Clarice what was going to be. be. A beautiful relationship. Shut up. So, I'm kind of okay with it. I say we drove in sorry looking motherfuckers. At least this time it won't be in the back. I'm gonna be all the way. Nick, deal with this shit. I don't know what to tell you. We could really use their help. Nah, it's fine. They're the enemy, Nikki. I don't trust any one of you. That's all I need to hear. Oh, do I get to choose whether or not to shoot him? I don't. Them. We must get this Damn it. <laughs> Why are you standing there? Help! Don't even think about it. Fuck, Jason! The enemy of our enemy is our friend! Move! Come on, man! Aw, oh, the game wants me to be nice! I want to be chaotic! No! How many people does it take to open a door? Can we leave Dar outside? Is that an option? No. Why are they running? Are they trying to be quiet? Azuzu. Come say hi. There's your little face. Hello. <sighs> oh, this is gonna be interesting. Some of you may die. about anybody but himself. guy from the intro. Yep. He looks friendly, don't you think? I remember <laughs> the first time I I <laughs> I chose crucifix. <laughs> so I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Like a teddy, yeah. He looks super friendly, super cuddly. In case you were wondering, the crucifix didn't work. <laughs> well, we got a good laugh out of it. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, 
So that's basically what they turn into when they get bit. Whoa. Oh, get the crowbar. Who is that? Dar? Yeah. Oh, bye bye. You're getting dragged to hell. I sh probably shouldn't be that happy about it. <laughs> but I don't like him. You to mess with a marine. Okay, we're back into story. Let's be loud. Whoever's there, identify yourself. Uh. Oh. I think my game froze a little. Understand this. You move, you die. You keep pushing, and I'll take that thing from you and beat you to death with it. Try me. It's weird because in the first playthrough, they were friends. I could kill you in a heartbeat. Trust me, I am fast enough. Understand this. You move, you die. You're gonna shoot, shoot! What are you waiting for? I've known many men like you before. Mm hmm. You know what they are now. Warm dirt. Didn't realize I was in the company of a fucking war hero. War hero? I thought he was gonna just say dead, but oh, worm dirt man. works. I'm gonna keep that. Let me tell you what's going to happen next. You do as I say. You go where I say. You fight when I say. If you do it well, you might live. You better keep your eyes on me. You so much as blank in your mind. Stay close and keep your eyes open. Oh, he gets the crowbar now. You even know how to use that rifle? If you'd like, I'll give you a demonstration. <laughs> Salim seems to be a very down-to-earth character. He actually is. He's actually, like, the most level-headed of the entire group. I think for one second you're trying to cross me. Best believe me. Following second, you're dead. I kill vampires. You take. Oh shit! I cut him off. Holds up the gate. The other can slip through. That looks like our best way through. As soon as I heard this line, I immediately thought of National Treasure Two. If you've ever seen it, there's a scene where they have to get through something like this, but one of them has to like hold the door open. And they abandon each other. Obviously. So, like, one gets through, and then the other just, like, drops the door. It was a great scene. Also, I don't know why I really like National Treasure, but I do. They're not good movies. Like, good? They're very entertaining, though.
I think there's a way through. I need to clear it from my side. Please be quick. I'm really not enjoying being here by myself. I'll quit whining. I'm honestly Still surprised that Jason's even You're like holding a damn stick. Don't underestimate that weapon. You are lucky to have any weapon. Jason's actually clearing you got any idea what we're dealing with? this stuff. They're vampires. Not possible. They are. My father once told me, if something looks like shit and smells like shit, you don't have to taste it to know that it's shit. <laughs> Believe me. Weird vampires. to live by. <laughs> we must work together to defeat them. That's probably my favorite line from the entire game. The time is coming for you to make a choice. Oh, so moral of the story, don't eat shit. Okay. See, he could be an absolute ass right now. Was that to drop it? Because I didn't push anything. Was that an option to, like, to drop it on him? I wonder. What's the first thing you're gonna do when we get out of here? Go give his son a hug. Him. Yep. Told ya. How about you? What'll you do? I'll probably just go for a drink. Yeah, that sounds about right. Don't talk about the hat. The meaning of those markings on your hands. Oh boy, you don't want to know. Just a cap. Why do you care? Just trying to make conversation, my friend. Get it through your thick skull. We ain't friends. You have a lot of anger for someone so short. Would you stole it all? I think you need to give your mouth some rest. They're the same fucking height. <laughs> Oh boy, why are we making short jokes now? Oh yeah, that's our friend! Get this door open now? Yeah, that could be a good idea. Oh! Hey, thanks for the assist, buddy! You have a tiny knife. Oh boy. Oh, there we go. Oh my god. That's too close. Only borrowing it. <laughs> I say we get the fuck out of here. Yeah, that's probably a good plan. Onward! I have my gun back. Na, 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 na. What's down here? Oh. Okay, fine. Ah, yes, the trusty lighter. Looks to me like a medical bay. Mm-hmm. This could come in handy. Let's just blow them all up. If you want to stick 60-year-old explosive in your bag, be my guest. 
He's like, eh. <laughs> Those chemical weapons are close, right? Let's have them. Whatever's down there, those explorers got there first. Hey, hold up, will you? How are you doing? Oh yeah, he's writing a note. You think they're still alive? They might be. You don't know. Oh, hopeful. Hope is all we got left. I laughed too, and then it actually worked last time. Nope. Oh, I see. Now you want to talk. Hmm. No, don't don't say fuck you. Is a jack in the box. God will not help you here. <laughs> what do you make of it? It's like nothing I've ever seen. You see that elevator cable? The explorers must have gone down. I don't think they made it back up. That winch still looks functional. We saw this in yeah. um, no, we one of the letters that we, we read, which we didn't see the first playthrough. So I'm glad that we saw it this time. Our world is up there, not down below. Well, there's an army of monsters between us and the world above. They're close. Uh -oh. Fire them. Are you crazy? Those vampires come from anywhere down there. You really want to find them at their own home? What I've yeah. Been since I set foot in this country. Why not? Get that elevator working. Looks like something from Subnautica. No, that's just the vibes I'm getting. Oh, that looks safe. <laughs> oh my god. I would be holding on for dear life. Oh boy. An ancient horror has awoken from its slumber and is hungry for blood. Shall we see how many have fallen into shadow? Rachel found her way back to the light. She did. A pity. Her husband wasn't there to welcome her back. You're still... Yeah, I killed him. What of it? Only one name in the ledger. An acceptable loss, considering the circumstances. I don't think he's happy Let's with hope me. Let's nothing unfortunate has befallen Sergeant K. 
Those taken by the abyss seldom live to tell the tale. As for Jason and Selim, sworn enemies, you cannot seem to bury the hatchet. Nope. Unless that hatchet is buried in a bat. I don't want to seem like an ungracious host, but time is against us. I'll be here to greet your charges as they cross the finish line. Don't bury what remains of them under. 